Hello friends, I want to share with you a very, very powerful tool that's brought in so many testimonies and many of you are asking me to do a video on it and it is amplifying your prayers with the letters of congratulations. So the concept is this, where does this come from? Number one, every time God wants to challenge, help somebody, he will bring something to their life that will boost their faith. For Abraham, Abraham was giving up, God took him out into the public and told him to begin to count the stars and in the sky. And as he was counting it, his faith began to rise. For Mary, it was very different. The angel had told Mary she would conceive. She couldn't gather in her mind, I'm a virgin, I've never had sex before. How will I carry a child? So the angel said, you know your cousin Elizabeth? And he says, go and stay with Elizabeth. And the reason why was that if you can see what God did with Elizabeth, the Bible says, him which was called barren. She was known as a critical case of barrenness. He said that was called barren. That was in the past. And the reason why God does this is this, and this is very powerful, is that when you use this tool, your hope and faith is amplified to another level. I've seen people that couldn't get married use the letters of congratulations. They got married, they got a job, they got a breakthrough. Their immigration approval came through. And I believe the same will happen for you. So the question is that how do I write my letters of congratulation? Number one, it is not a list of prayer requests. It's a personal letter to you. And what you do, you get a plain sheet of paper or you write on your computer or you do an email. You have your address there as it is and write your name, Dear Keisha. And you start by staying the goodness of God in a very emotional way. Not just in a way that you're detached. You want to say it from your heart because the force of the Spirit is resident inside of So dear Keisha, looking at your life, I'm overwhelmed and amazed about how God has been so good to you. It's mind-blowing that the things you have prayed about has consistently happened in your life. That is a good introduction for the letter of translation. Casting your mind back to the faithfulness, to the goodness of God. You can even say something like, you know, I remember in, you know, in 2015 when I was stranded, how you came through for me through this and this and this person. It's obvious that you love me and you have never abandoned me at any minute. So that's the first introduction. So the main way of the letter is now that you begin to state your prayer point as though it has happened. So what I say is that if you are praying for a job, you don't say, Father, I want a job. You say, Father, I thank you. And you say, you state it as if it has happened with your emotions. You state it as if you just received the testimony. So I'll give you a practical example. Oh, Father, I am blown away. I checked my email and all of a sudden, the recruiter has sent in the, the offer. I am blown away. Today is a regular day, but has produced for me an unusual result. I looked into my apartment. I was jumping up and down. My mother came in to me and said, what happened? I was so happy when I shared the news with her. My mother broke into tears on her knees, lifting up her hands in gratitude to the God that answers prayers. Did you see how I described the event in the future full with emotions as though it has happened because that is the language of faith. Take note of this. Every time you are writing letter of congratulations, you are not writing it hoping it will happen. You are writing with the language of faith, stating fully, you know, the emotions you will feel when that becomes a reality. You know, you will say something like, it was a regular day, I was feeling nauseous, I went to the hospital and all of a sudden the doctor told me to take a pregnancy test. I couldn't care less if I took it, but to my utmost amazement and to the total shock of the doctor, the doctor confirmed I was six weeks pregnant. The doctor was blown away because in the whole medical history that he had, he had never seen anything like this. Lord, I'm grateful. I got home, my husband and I fell on the floor in total awe of the demonstration of your power. For we are the ones the doctor have said we can never have a child without artificial process. But see what you have done for us in this process. For this we are grateful. So this is how you write your letter of congratulations and you end it with thanksgiving. Saying, Lord, thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. And you just go ahead. One of the things I'm adding in this season is this. Write three songs that you will sing at that season. So this is how you put it there. Lord, when this happened, I began to sing, you know, I began to sing that 
I cannot call on your name and end up in shame. No way. You know, I began to sing that song. I began to declare this. I began to declare that those are three songs that you are singing because it has happened. I believe that this letter of organization will amplify your prayers, amplify your fasting. Remember when you write it, email me a copy and keep a copy for yourself. And you know what? This will be something we're going to rejoice and testify about. Thank you for watching. If you have not watched my videos and trainings on prayer and fasting, make sure you go back and watch it on our YouTube channel at Harvest TV.